In an era in which we are questioning the effectiveness of markets in producing the kind of society and economy we want to live in, it is more important than ever to have an objective debate about the role that markets and the state play in the economy. Is the state necessary only to correct market failures, or is it also needed to more actively shape and create markets and technological opportunities, and to promote growth which is not only smart, but also inclusive? I think one of the uh, more pernicious uh, bodies of, of, of thought uh, and analysis that uh, is uh, uh, very influential today is the notion that the, the reason you have government is either to set up uh, the, the basis for uh, the market uh, or uh, to, uh, given that you have a market in existence, to deal with, with market failures. Uh, in that, uh, that, that orientation uh, <coughs> views government strictly in terms of what it does for or how it complements the market uh, and uh, fails to comprehend at all that, uh, in fact, uh, modern economies, and this goes back a long, long, long way in history, uh, are inherently mixed ones uh, with market elements and non-market elements uh, in it, uh, and with the, uh, the non-market elements, uh, including prominently uh, government programs, uh, <coughs> There, for, for reasons that uh, really uh, don't have that much to do with, quote, quote market failure. To, to essentially say that uh, uh, we have uh, publicly uh, funded uh, police forces that uh, uh, are largely uh, consistent of people that are hired by the public sector rather than the market, uh, because we have market failure. Uh, is again, if you reflect on it a little bit, bizarre. Uh, and uh, similarly with respect to why you have a non-market uh, judicial uh, system. These are inherently public sector uh, ac activities, just as the raising of children to a considerable extent, the function of uh, families and extended families so far as they're able to, uh, to do that. Uh, as contrasted with, uh, with markets, and to say all oh, that is uh, being done outside the market because of market failure is really patently absurd. Uh, also behind the scenes is uh, the, the notion that uh, except for market failures, uh, markets work perfectly. And uh, in a way, that's sort of a bizarre notion, unless you want to define uh, market failures that way, in which case markets always fail, uh, since they never, never work, work perfectly. My own, my, my own view of markets is very similar to Winston Churchill's uh, ver uh, uh, propositions regarding uh, the virtues of democracy. Uh, and there is proposition, uh, many of you will recall, is democracy is the worst form of government uh, except for everything else that we've tried. And in some sense or other, in my view, markets, rather than being viewed as optimal solutions uh, or as a, just a, a wonderful solution uh, on its merits uh, for most economic uh, activities, uh, is there because we can't think of much that's better. Uh, but on the other hand, that doesn't mean that uh, uh, we can't think of lots of ways to make markets, once you set them in place, work a heck of a lot better than if they were if they were unfettered. I can't think of an unregulated uh, market. Uh, and uh, uh, I think it's pretty clear that when you get down to the details rather than the ideology, uh, virtually everybody would agree that any market that they know something about with, about, and if um, uh, the market was dealing with them, uh, would uh, uh, blanch uh, if you said, well, let's let that market do just what it wants to do and not have any uh, illegal or, or explicit administrative structures bearing on it.
theory that you have a government because of market failure is a disastrous theory. 